Hello friends! Enjoy the warmth and summer and our new video about ringinological views of the calcaneus. Let's start with classic lateral view, which is well known for every orthopedic surgeon from the beginning of his practice. To get this view, a patient should be lied down in the cubitus position on the injury side. The injured foot is laid down on the horizontal surface of the radiographic cassette. The X-ray is directed perpendicular to the cassette surface and sagittal plane of the foot. The criteria of right projection performance is precise taller dome figure without double contour. Positioning of the patient on the opposite side or ringography of both feet simultaneously in frog position leads to wrong position of the foot and incorrect X-ray view. Malrotation is the most common defect of this procedure. It is desirable to make a view of the whole foot to not to miss other injuries which are uh, not still detected during physical examination. At the lateral view we can clearly see anterior process of calcaneus, posterior articular facet and calcaneal tuber. Sustentaculum tally is projected on the sinus tarsi region. At the lateral view, orthopedic surgeon can find following traumatic changes. Diminished bolus angle. To find out this angle, surgeon have to draw two lines. One goes from the upper point of the anterior process to the posterior articular face, and another goes from the upper point of the calcaneal tuber to the same point of the posterior articular facet. Usually, its value is between 20 and 40 degrees. After the fracture, it goes down to zero or to negative values. Double density sign. At standard lateral view, posterior articular facet is presented by a single curved line. In cases of intraarticular fractures, we can observe double or rarely triple contour of the posterior facet. Using the lateral view, we can also classify calcaneal fractures according to Essex Lopresti, dividing all fractures into ton type and joint depression type. To get an axial view of the calcaneus, a patient has to be in supine position. The foot should be flexed at 90 degrees angle to the shin and the X-rays should be directed at 45 degrees angle to horizontal plane with aiming to the plantar side of the foot at a point between middle and posterior thirds. At the well-done axial view, we can observe calcaneal tuber, sustentaculum tally, and subtalar joint. In cases of fracture, you can see deviation of the tuber, varus or valgus. We can also observe intraarticular fracture and estimate degree of displacement of intraarticular fragments. The most common defect of this procedure is plantar flexion of the foot. In such cases, only calcaneal tuber can be observed. Subtal joint and sustentaculum tally are not presented on the film. Sometimes it is impossible for the patient to flex a foot correctly due to pain syndrome. Finally, the third main projection is a Broden's view. Actually, it's not a single view, but four consequent views. The patient should be in supine position, his foot should be rotated interiorly at 45 degrees angle and flexed at 90 degrees angle to the shin. X-rays are centered on the lateral malleolus and uh, directed from the plantar surface of the foot at 10, 20, 30 and 40 degrees. The main thing that is seen at a well-done Brodin's view is a subtalar joint. This view allows to estimate the quantity of articular fragments and the degree of their displacement. These projections are extremely useful during the surgical reduction of a calcaneus. Projections made at different angles are necessary to estimate articular surface reduction at every point of its curvative. At one angle, articular surface can be smooth, but another angle reveals a step-off because of irregular reduction of the fragment. All descriptions above can be applied to the work in an X-ray room.
During the surgery, when the patient is commonly in the cubitus position, C-arm positioning will be different according to the position of the foot. It is correct to check all necessary views before start of the surgery. And that's all for now. Please write your comments below and ask questions. Good luck and t